In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a coiled spiral. Remove the cube by pressing X on your keyboard then left click on delete. Now press 7 on your numbers pad followed by 5 on your numbers pad to go into top orthographic view. Hold down shift followed by A and then next to mesh left click on plane. Roll your middle mouse to zoom in a bit and then rotate this by 45 degrees. To do this you simply press R followed by 45 and left click. Now press tab on your keyboard and then A to deselect everything. Now if you press C you'll end up with a circular select or a circle select. You can increase or decrease the size by rolling your middle mouse button. Now left click on the top right bottom vertices of this um, plane and then right click to accept now if you press X on your keyboard sorry X on your keyboard then left click on vertices you'll end up with one vertice or so one vertex press tab on your keyboard to go into object mode and then one on your numbers pad to go into front orthographic view. Drag this panel over, look for the little button that's got a wrench in it, this is your modifiers button, and left click on it. And left click add modifier. Left click on screw and in the box it says screw one zero sorry zero point zero 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 left click on the little grey arrow to the right just once so you'll end up with zero point one zero zero in the box it says steps left click and type in something like one hundred and in the box it says iter iterations or iterations where it says 1, I'm going to just left click and type in 10. Once you get used to doing this you can uh, change all these settings and choose what you want. You could have a coil, 100 coils, whatever. But anyway for this we'll just keep this as it is. Once you've done all that left click on apply. Now hold down shift followed by A and then next to mesh left click on cone resize the cone if you if you want to by pressing S and move your, your mouse so I'm just going to size this so it's just a little bit smaller than the outer edges of this coil or the bottom edges of this coil and once I've done that I'm going to right click on the coil and again in the box that says add modifiers I'm going to left click and I'm going to left click on shrink wrap the box underneath where it says target left click and then left click on cone once you've done that left click on apply right click on the cone press X and then left click on delete to remove it. Now right click on your coil and then press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top orthographic view. With this coil still selected press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode. Now everything should be deselected. If you not too sure just press A and then A again and that will reselect it and deselect it. Press Z on your keyboard to go into wireframe view. Now I'm going to roll my middle mouse to zoom in quite a bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm also going to hold down shift on my middle mouse button to drag this view over.
Now basically we want to select the inner spiral all the way around to this next spiral vertices here on this red axis line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just press C, bring up a circle select and I'll just select these two here on this red axis, uh, red X axis line. Um, and then if I right click that will accept those. And this is where it gets a little bit fiddly. So you might want to sort of zoom in and gradually do this in uh, sections. So anyway, just to make a start, I'm going to press C and I'm just going to select these inner faces. Right click and then drag my mouse down. In fact, I'm going to zoom out a bit more. So very carefully, you can increase the size of your um, circular select, but just very carefully go around selecting the inner ring. Like I said, if you right click, you can... Uh, Deselect, then reposition using shift in your middle mouse. Press C again. Like all modeling, sometimes it takes a bit of time, so just bear with me. And for the final bit, I'll just reposition and uh, do a smaller circle select. You can drag this as well, bold and your uh, middle mouse button down. Okay, that's the boring bit out of the way. So hopefully you've selected the inner ring all the way around to where it comes just behind on the left hand side. To the bottom of the screen look for the button which is uh, brings a description proportional editing mode up and just left click on it and then left click on connected I'm just going to center this up a bit now press S on your keyboard and re move your mouse to bring this these selections that you've uh, or these vertices you've selected into the middle now if you roll your middle mouse what will happen is gradually just keep rolling your middle mouse this will spiral you can keep coming up and down I don't know, we'll spoil this like that. This is by rolling your middle mouse. Now if you increase the size, you've got to be a bit careful because you can go all over the place, but that will do. Once you've done that, left click. And hopefully you should have something that looks a bit like a spiral. Like I said, once you get used to this, you can start modifying this. You could actually cut this out if you wanted to have a didn't want to have this close um, part here but anyway for now this will do okay press tab on your keyboard to go into object mode then hold down alt followed by C and left click curve from mesh text press 1 on your numbers pad to go into front view and hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh, left click on plane. Drag this plane down and rotate it on its X axis by pressing R, X, and then 9, 0. Now press S, move your mouse, and just reduce it in size. The main reason I've uh, dragged this down is because it just makes it easier to see. You don't want it in the middle of this coil. OK. With the uh, square still selected, as we did before, hold down Alt C and left click on Curve from Mesh Text. 
Now right click on your spiral to the top of the screen between the wrench and the sort of orange disc left click on the data button below bevel object bevel yeah below bevel object left click and then left click plane 001 what will happen is this It'll look awful I'm just going to go into solid view so I'm going to just press Z to go into solid view as you can see this is pretty awful and the way to get around this problem is with this spiral still selected press tab on your keyboard and then press S Z 0 then left click you'll end up with something that looks like that press tab on your keyboard to go back into object mode and you can start shaping these this coil by right clicking on your square so for instance if you want to increase the height of this just press S Z and move your mouse so you end up with this sort of effect and left click once you're happy and if you want to make this look more like a coiled spring press S X and then move your mouse in and gradually you'll end up with a nice coiled spiral if you want to go on to top view by pressing 7 as long as it was still selected you can still um, reduce it in size so I'm going to go S X and reduce this even more in size gradually till everything's separated Keep going, and there you go. Now left click, and that is basically how to coil a shape or an object. This will work um, with a circle. Would imagine it probably work with quite a few different shapes, even um, text. Though I haven't uh, actually done that. Chant butter i can not mind showing you how I created the image at the beginning of this. Um, I said before it makes these tutorials look longer than they actually are. So hopefully that's helped somebody. Um, thank you for watching. Cheers.